In this video, we're going to show you part two of R1 dilution. So we've already filled this cuvette with R1, as you can see, but we haven't diluted it yet. And we're going to dilute it with water, DI water specifically, okay? I'm not going to change the settings with the micropipette, so it still reads 1,000. And we're just going to do the exact same thing, but we're going to include a mixing step this time. And I'll show, that, show you that in this video. So we're going to go down to the first stop, drop some water slowly, and then we're going to add it to R1. When you add the water, you want to draw up the liquid again slowly and then push it back down. You don't really have to go to the second stop for this because we're just mixing, but the idea is to get a homogeneous solution so that the concentration is even throughout the cuvette. So I'm just going to mix it several more times. And then when I'm done, then I'm going to press the second stop to make sure everything is out. And I'm going to put this back in. And then most importantly, I'm going to eject this tip. The reason that you don't want to use the same tip throughout these dilutions is that you might cross-contaminate and make some solutions a little less or more concentrated than it should be. So we're going to get rid of this tip. And um, now I'm going to do R2. And as you can see, um, over here, I've actually added water to the other three cuvettes already. So water's already in there. And I'm just going to take from this solution and I'm going to pour into this with the micro pipette. So I'm going to grab a new tip from R1. So what you want is something with no air bubbles like this. And then you want to put it into R2. And again, we're going to mix. So I'm going to put the pipette down, bring it up slowly, bring it back down. And then up, and back down. I'm going to do this several more times to get a nice, even mix. And I'm going to now eject the tip. And I'm going to do the rest, but I'm not going to have any commentary behind it because it's the same process as I've done for the first two. And at the end, I'll show you how the colors change as you continually dilute um, the solution. So at this stage, I've completed all the dilutions, and I'm going to zoom in on the camera so you can see how the colors change. We're probably going to provide another picture so you can see it a little more clearly, but it's supposed to be very dark right here, and as you go along this way, it should get lighter overall. This is the video to do the micropipetting for samples B1 through B4. This will be a commentary-less demonstration. I'm just getting used to the perspective. 